Martens are slender, agile animals adapted to living in snail forests and are found in coniferous and northern deciduous forests across the northern hemisphere. They have bushy tails and large paws with partially retractable claws. The fur varies from yellowish to dark brown depending on the species and, in many cases, is valued by... Be that as it may, these martens are as cute as they are furry, but they are also quite a nuisance. Welcome to this video about how, uh, how I dealt with a martin problem that I have had chewing on the HT leads of my car. Now, why, oh why, do they choose to chew on HT leads? God knows. If you have the answer to that question, by all means, let us know in the comments section. You might be able to solve a, uh, quite a mystery here. Anyway, this appears to be the solution. It's a ultrasonic Martin repellent module with 360 degree emission and radius. And since ultrasound propagates the same way as light does, it has to be mounted visibly to be effective. Now it is watertight to the IP65 norm, which seems pretty watertight to me. But uh, I decided to um, upgrade to the IP McAvoy water tightness. So uh, it's absolutely and completely sealed off since it's a Land Rover. It's going to be plugging mud at some point. So uh, better be watertight. So uh, as a statement, I initially mounted the device as it is poking out the bonnet to repel the entire Martin community out of my neighborhood. Hopefully it worked and dogs don't seem to be affected. It, it is a concern since there are uh, quite a few dogs in the neighborhood, so um, there it is. The next step was to elongate the fly leads to make them long enough so I can wire it discreetly and the idea is just to give it a, a positive lead on the battery directly and the other lead goes to the earth. This is a device which detects when the engine is running and so uh, automatically turns itself on when the ignition is cut off which is which is wonderful. Now the idea is that ultrasound propagates the same way as light does so basically it's going to be effective wherever the device can be seen from so you have to position it ideally quite low on the car. Thank you all for watching, I do appreciate it very much. Uh, make sure you drop a like, leave a comment and I will be catching you all in the next video which will be no doubt about changing HT leads on the Land Rover Discovery. Thanks again guys.